plight of the indie filmmaker to make the movie you've always dreamed of, your opus, your legacy. But you don't have a limitless Hollywood budget, and you're afraid that ninja assassins and the zombie apocalypse will never make it to the big screen. Well, fear not, because using ingenuity and science, Eric Beck from Indie Mogul is going to show you how. Indie Mogul is a do-it-yourself filmmaker's dream, a webcast and site dedicated to getting great shots on the cheap, like kitchen junk drawer cheap. Eric, what's up, man? What's up, dude? Good to see you. Eric Beck is Indie Mogul's no-budget effects master and front man. I need some dolly shots mm -hmm. for this little film I'm working on mm -hmm. called Ninja Assassins and the Zombie Apocalypse. I want, you know, a variety of moving shots. Okay. How do you usually achieve those shots? Oh, uh, office chair, camera guy. Yeah. Shoo, moving shots. I think we can do better. What we really need is a camera dolly. Why? One, it'll eliminate shaky shots, and two, virtually silent, unlike that office chair. Now, I could rent one of those sweet Chapman Leonard dollies, but eventually I'd have to give it back. Eric's got a plan for a do-it-yourself dolly I can hang on to for all my sequel and prequel needs, and it costs less than 50 bucks. The first step is hardware. You'll want to invest in some safety gear. It's all fun and games until someone loses an eye. Next, we stock up on a bunch of bolts, nuts, washers, and the MacGyver special duct tape. Pro dollies are made from things like military-grade steel and titanium, but we're sticking with PVC and plywood because we're film freedom fighters. Mission just about accomplished. I'm just gonna hang back a couple, several yards. All in all, we're down about 30 bucks, less than a third of the price of a pro dolly rental. Difference is, we get to keep this one. Thank you, sir. You wanna get a taco? Oh, totally. Oh, dude, I already feel extra powerful putting this on. You're indestructible with I'm these. pretty much ready to build anything now. Warning, do not attempt the falling without the proper training or the guidance of a professional like Eric, especially if you don't have a Mondo insurance policy like we have. But, I mean, is, is the platform that the dolly, is it going to be big enough for a cameraman and a camera, or is it just for camera? Just the camera. Okay, gotcha. And for our purposes, we're sticking to wood. Wood. And PVC. PVC. All right. Some hardware, and then the key component right here is the roller skate wheels. Eric found an eight-pack of roller skate wheels on the interweb for just $5.99. Okay, so here's my, here's my very detailed schematic. Okay. <laughs> Extremely detailed. I, I can't interpret this at I'll, all. I'll break it down real quick. Most of the design is locked away in Eric's head, but he tells me it's going to go down something like this. Cut wooden pieces for platform and dolly track, attach the wheels, lay down the track, and shoot mind-blowing dolly test shots. And normally, I would use a circular saw for this. Why is that? If you're going to get a smoother, straighter cut. Of course. Um, but this will do the job. This all is right. a jigsaw. Mm -hmm. Nice. Easy enough. The pieces we're cutting will brace our track and form the dolly platform. That's where the camera and tripod will go. We really feel like a man with a saw in my hands. Right? It does. It gets you right here. This should be 27 and a half. Yep. On the nose, baby. <laughs> okay. In order to balance the tripod feet evenly, the platform is an equilateral triangle with two two by fours as support. Engage. Bit of a bit of a learning curve in there, if you will. <laughs> a little bit of a detour. So now we're going to drill this sucker down to the brace. Slow and mustard. <sighs> my nerdrenaline is totally just <laughs> flowing through the veins, bro. With my new cocksure attitude, we rip through the platform, and in no time, we're ready for the wheels. We're going to attach to the platform with these metal pieces Eric pre-made. He bought a cheap long piece of metal angle, cut it down, and drilled holes in it. The wheels would be bolted through the big holes, while the little holes are for screwing the whole piece into the wooden base. Goes bolt, two washers, wheel, nut. Now we've got all our, our tracks, and if you want to get a quick idea of how this is going to work, here's our track. 
like how smooth that is. The only thing left is prepping and laying the track. Time to break out the PVC. Bam. Eric drills holes into the PVC caps so he can bolt them to the one by threes as a brace for the dolly track. We're gonna use those nuts and bolts that we bought at the hardware store. Okay. A couple tweaks and bam, our track is done. Okay, so that like took like 30 minutes tops. Yep, yep, yep. Just to piece this together. Make your own do-it-yourself dolly for the low, low price of $47.49. Nar not included. But before we lay down the track, there's just one more modification. All right, Eric, I'm ready. What's this? You changed. Well, this is my part of my DIY ninja outfit. I like this right here. Yeah, so I just want to make sure it looked good on film. Nice and tight. Track's done. Voila. Dolly. Dolly track. Remember that office chair? It would have created a sound editing nightmare. But not this baby. Oh my gosh. That's it's it? It's completely silent. Yeah. That's crazy! Eric securing the tripod with some tape, but you can also drill holes in the wood where the tripod can sit. All right. All right, we're good to go. Feels pretty good to me. All right, throw the camera on there. Yep. I'll throw on my ninja mask. Okay. First setup is our action shot. Ready? Rolling and action. Time to make some zombie origami. Beautiful. It look good? Beautiful. OK, Eric, uh, in this scene, the zombies have completely surrounded the ninja headquarters. And so for the first time, the ninja is contemplating defeat. So just kind of go for that feeling, all right? Got it. Got it. All right, I'll get into character. All right. OK, ready? Yeah. Rolling and action. Without darkness, there can be no light. Cut. Beautiful. Again, yeah. one take again. One take wonder. It's the power of white ninja! Ugh, oh, I just pulled something. Oh. OK, Eric, this shot is in the climax of the film, when the ninja thinks all the zombies are dead, except there's one left. OK? Yes. OK, got you, it. You got the knife? Got it. Cool. Ready? Yep. Rolling and action. Sense. Cut. Awesome. I got it? It's perfect. It looks good? It looks so real. Ninja! Ninja! Ninja sense! Dude, I mean, this dolly is amazing, Eric. And now I'm confident that I can make the film I want to make. And I'm sure a lot of other indie filmmakers out there feel the same way. Absolutely. And who knew? you? It was so perfect you had that fake knife on you. It's, it's real. Ninja sense! Thanks, brother. Peace. Boom goes to Hindenburg. The lesson.